Hi everyone, this is the second video for the HMS model development. In this video, I will continue to make demonstrations for developing HMS model mainly with terrain data pre-processing works using GIS tools in the HMS platform. So continuing from the previous video tutorial, I will use the GIS menu tools in HMS main interface. So if you go to this GIS tab and click this one, you can see these two preprocesses are activated. So firstly, you need to click this preprocess things. So if you click, you can see this status window for preprocessing for the things for the page. So after that, you can see this processed terrain data. If you right click on this map, you can see this map layers. So you can see the original terrain data and this sync build terrain data on here. So you can check this one. This is original terrain data and also this is build sync the terrain data. So if you check for the sync location, you can see all the sync locations for this terrain data for the DEM. Okay? So uncheck this sync location and close this one. After that, go to GIS tab again and click this preprocess drainage button. And then you can see this status box for preprocessing drainage for the Beijing. Okay? So this preprocessing works requires some time, so be patient to, to complete this uh, job, okay? So after that, you need to right click again to see these map layers. And then you can see this new layers for the flow directions. So if you uncheck this flow accumulation, you can see this flow direction on the this build sync terrain data. So this would be flow direction, the layer, and also you can see this flow accumulation things. So if you check this one, you can see this flow accumulation things. I will not give all the details for what is the flow direction and what is flow accumulation things. So please close this window. After that, if you go to this GIS tab again, you can see this identify streams are also activated. So click this one. So after that, you can see this identify streams window. For here, you need to insert area to define streams. Actually, I will use 3% of my required watershed areas. So for the Yongdam Dam area, for the 3% of that area would be between 7.891 scale kilometers. So after insert this 3% of my required watershed area. So you need to click OK. After that, you can see this status window again. And then you can see this uh, uh, defined streams. So if you right click on here to see map layers, after that, you, if you uncheck all the other layers, all things, you can see this the, uh, identified the stream network on here. Okay, So if you check this terrain data, you can also clearly see this defined level network on this terrain data okay so close this map layers so at this point i will add already prepared shape files for this base model for the stream gauges information as a point so on here you need to open the map layer again you can also open that map layer with this build tab and click this map layers so on here you can add this shape file required so click this add button and then you need to find this raw data folder 
After that, click this uh, outlet shape file, double click, and then you can see uh, this uh, outlet points for the, this one. So I will uh, zoom in after adding another gauge shape file, double click. And then you can see these kind of the points for this one. So at this point, I will uncheck this terrain data, but I will use this uh, sync locations to define the stream network. Okay. So if you are available, please these gauges move up on this map layer. Okay. So you can see. So if you zoom in on here with the mouse scrolling, you can see this outlet point as well as some the gauge point in the watershed. Okay, so I will close this map layers. Okay, so with that you can see this breakpoint creation tool icon is activated on here. So if you click. And then if you zoom in this uh, outlet points, you can clearly see this the outlet points. So you need to select breakpoint for this outlet point. But in this case, you should select on this identified river network. So I will select on this point as outlet breakpoint. So this one I will make as a breakpoint one. So I will use this name of the outlet points. Outlet. Okay. So click this script button. And then you can see this outlet breakpoint just created. Okay. So after that, you need to click another another breakpoint so if you zoom on this pink point you can see this one but again I will not select this one but you need to select on this identified network stream network okay so if you want to select breakpoint considering this the stream gauge for this uh, identified uh, the network for the river, I would select uh, this uh, point as a breakpoint. So if you click on here, you need to again to insert uh, the name for this uh, breakpoint. So actually this uh, stream gauge network name would be Juchan. C H E O N J U C H E O N. So just press this clip button, and then I developed this Juchan the breakpoint as uh, uh, the gauge network point. Okay. So after that, another four different gauge network also needed to select as a breakpoint. So on here, you need to clearly see this point for the uh, well matched with this identified river network. So click on here. After that, you need to insert uh, this name of the SEOK. Sokjung. S-E-O-K-J-U-N-G. This would be another uh, gauge name for this Yongdam Dam watershed. Okay, so make uh, zoom out and another point on here. So you can zoom in after that. You can select this point considering this gauge points as well. So I will click on this point. So again, need to insert the name. So I would insert this one would be Dochi, C H I D O C H I. This is another name for this uh, stream gauges. Okay. So again, for the zoom out and make zoom in for this point. Okay. 
Again, you can select this point considering the existing gauge network gauge point. So I will click this one. And then this name of the gauge point would be Chonchon. C-H-E-O-N. C-H-E-O-N. Okay. So press quit button and then zoom out. So I have to one more breakpoint creation on here. So you can also see clearly see on this point as another breakpoint. Actually, this name of the gauge point would be Donghyang, D-O-N-G-H-Y-A-N-G. So I will click this uh, clip button. So actually, I developed all required uh, gauge point as a breakpoint for this uh, HEC HMS. Uh, uh, model development. So I have created these uh, six different breakpoints with the outlet point as well as all the stream gauge network on this watershed for the Yongdam Dam areas. Okay. After that, if you go to this GIS tab again and then click this breakpoint manager, you can see all the created the gauge network on here as a breakpoint. Okay, close this uh, window and then if you click again for this GIS tab, you can see another activation for delineate elements. Okay, so I will click this one. After that, you can see this uh, new window for delineate elements option. So this would be required prefix for subvasion, reach, and junction. So I will use this prefix with subvasion as a capital S. And reach would be capital R. And select the S for the insert junctions. And then J would be the junction prefix. After that, select this convert breakpoint with S. Okay. After that, you need to press this delineate button. And then you can see delineating status bar for this window. So you need to wait some time for completing this required job for the watershed delineation. So now it is completed to delineate this watershed all considering this the breakpoint. So if you expand this window, you can clearly see this the delineated watershed on here. So in this version of HEC HMS, you can make this kind of watershed delineation on this HEC HMS main interface okay so if you right click on here and then see the map layers you can see the newly created icon reaches and subagents for that with the previously existing the map layers so if you click this fill sync layer you can also see this terrain for with this delineated watershed Okay, so close this map layer. So at this point, you need to save this project with this save current project button. Okay. So now we have completed terrain data pre-processing for the development of HEC HMS model with watershed delineation. Then the other required processes to complete this model development will be demonstrated on the following part 3 video. Thank you for watching.